yes hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn about uh, an important concept uh, that is uh, how to connect uh, power bi with the azure sql database if you watch my previous videos uh, uh, there were the videos about uh, i mean uh, how to connect uh, with the uh, excel or how to connect with the uh, uh, SQL Server database. Those are all, all with we connected with the local database. I mean local database or local Excel. But in this video, we are going to connect with Azure Cloud. In that Azure Cloud, we are creating a SQL Server database and we are deploying that SQL Server database. And then uh, we, uh, we are going to connect with that SQL Server database with the uh, Power BI and uh, uh, we will create tables there and we will insert a sample data there and then. Um, you will create a visualization in power bi so that uh, uh, you will get an idea about uh, how can we connect with the power bi with the uh, uh, azure sql server database why because in the real time you are going to work with these kind of scenarios only guys hardly you are going to work on uh, excel or csv or else uh, sql server local database but mostly uh, since uh, every company is moving to moving from on-premise on to cloud so that uh, you are going to work on this real-time concepts only so before that you should have a basic understanding about uh, uh, azure so uh, let's jump into our next slide so that uh, yes steps to connect power bi with azure sql database guys first of all uh, in order to connect with the azure sql database so that you should have an azure account that is uh, so microsoft azure you should have a microsoft azure account uh, so once you have an azure account then only you can able to create a um, SQL Server database in Azure. Okay. Next, uh, create a Azure SQL Server database, server uh, database server and database. So these are two things. We need to create a SQL Server database server and a database. Okay. And create a tables and insert a sample data into it. Once we create a tables in our database, the next step is we need to insert a sample data into it. Why? Why we need to insert? Once we insert a sample data in it, we need to connect with Power BI, right? So without any data, Power there is nothing used with connecting with Power BI. So the data should be there in SQL Azure SQL Server database. Then we need to connect with Power BI. Then only we can able to visualize the data and link a client IP address with firewall in order to access. Guys, once you uh, create a SQL Server database in order to link with the uh, uh, Power BI, so the firewall will stop you. That uh, firewall is nothing but uh, in simple terms, in simple layman terminology, that nothing but giving access. So your IP address need to uh, it needs to be connected with your local Power BI, so that you need to give an access, so that uh, it will create a rule in the uh, firewall, so that we will see in that uh, Azure Cloud uh, database, SQL Server database when you are creating. So finally, uh, connect Azure SQL Server database with Power BI and get visualization. This is the final step, guys. So this is very simple. Don't uh, nothing complicated in, it, in this one. So without any late, uh, let's jump into our task. Uh, so we'll divide our uh, task step by step so that you will get a clear idea, guys. By the way, this video will be a bit lengthy. So those who have idea about uh, how to uh, uh, create an account in Power BI, uh, sorry, create an account in Azure SQL. Uh, Azure SQL database and you can ignore this video why because uh, you have basic idea about how things all these things those who doesn't have any idea kindly watch this video so I am going to open uh, um, portal.azure.com guys this is the home page of portal.azure.com so whenever you're going to open with the uh, whenever you're going to create an account uh, in uh, uh, I mean whenever you're going to create a uh, uh, SQL Server database, you should have an Azure account. So, this is the home page of Azure account. This is my account. Okay. And now, uh, the next topic, uh, the next step is we need to create a resource. Okay. Resource is nothing but don't be uh, confused. Resource is nothing but in Lemon terminology. Uh, virtual machine is a resource. SQL, uh, SQL database is a, res is a resource. Like, uh, like whatever it may be, the uh, storage account is a resource. So, whatever it may be, providing the Microsoft Azure. These are nothing but resources okay uh, don't think much about this one okay so in this guys these are the resources so our task is need to create a database sql database so i am clicking on this uh, sql database okay so my subscription is a free trial okay a resource group guys don't again confuse with the resource group resource group is a collection of uh, resources that share the same like cycle permission policies uh, for time being just uh, remember that resource script is just a container okay it's a container which stores all which stores all our resources similar to a play store or app store 
which stores all your uh, all the apps okay here yeah, just for time being just uh, remember that it's a container so i'm just creating a new resource so let's connect let's uh, create a uh, you let's uh, power bi uh, power bi azure okay rg okay I'm just creating the Power BI RG, uh, Power BI Azure RG works, uh, source group. And next, we need to create a uh, database name. So I'm just uh, creating Azure Cloud, okay, for time being. You can create any any uh, database now. I'm just creating Azure Cloud, okay. So for that, I need to create a uh, new server for that. I need server name, okay. So just a server name, let's uh, uh, Power BI azure server okay this is already in use you will not able to create it like like uh, we are creating the gmail accounts or outlook accounts right if that account has been everyone be taken then you couldn't able to create that one okay make sure this is the location uh, these are the regions of the uh, uh, data center regions where your regions are available make sure to uh, select your nearest region account to your location so i am staying in uh, india so i am just selecting central india so that uh, that I should make sure no my data will be fast and connection will be very fast so that uh, select account to your location guys this is one this is very important okay and next step is use a sql server authentication so login i'm just using a pbi user okay make sure to remember this one again otherwise you will forget this one i'm showing copy i'm creating a pad here okay login okay and again now here i am selecting a password so you create any one password and again entering the password again okay my passwords both are matched and i'm creating nothing one guys here just we are creating one um, server so database name is azure cloud okay i am again writing here to for your understanding about uh, database name so database azure cloud okay so and next uh, want to use elastic pool no because uh, we are just trying for locally purpose i, I mean just for for trial and error purpose no need and next uh, networking and you can ignore all these things guys next uh, security i'm just using start a free trail okay and you can go for next additional settings uh, okay no backup nothing and uh, tags uh, you can ignore these tags guys so you can ignore about this pricing since it is a free trial and i'm having rates of uh, 14500 uh, so no need to worry about this one next create so uh, it will take a little time guys uh, for time being i mean it will take around uh, two to three minutes to create a uh, uh, sql server database so that uh, if you see that see deployment is in progress so it will take a time guys for two to three minutes uh, just to wait for that one you can yeah you can uh, click on refresh for time being if you want to see the what is uh, operation happening beside that one oh, yes guys if you see here our deployment process has been completed successfully so um, you have uh, created uh, nothing but it's a path guys nothing but a platform as a service uh, means uh, so you don't need to search for uh, i mean you don't need to uh, install or you don't need to do anything already there is a sql server uh, inside our azure so they only provide all things uh, once we just given the process that automatically it will on uh, deploy so it's completed guys and now i mean nothing but you don't need to uh, uh, maintain any license for this one automatically microsoft has taken care of that one so if you go here uh, our deployment process has been completed successfully. so we are good to go with uh, what you are saying yes deployment is completed and now okay refresh i'm just clicking refresh again here so go to resource okay yes guys this is our server name okay uh, this is a server name which we are going to connect uh, uh, with the power bi so this is the azure uh, sql server database server name so by using this server only we can able to connect with the power bi so and again uh, if you see here here we are and uh, yeah. 
other uh, see this database azure cloud which we have created successfully it has been created guys so that's the thing uh, again it's created and other thing is uh, so just go through this overview guys so that you will get an idea about uh, uh, the things uh, which you are going to work and if you see here uh, there is a query editor guys uh, so query editor is nothing but uh, where we are going to write the queries uh, similar to sql server management studio here you are using qu uh, query editor so a pba user as you see that uh, that uh, username is pba user i am using my password there so so yes there you go we can able to now run okay uh, so if you want to see the database name select uh, db underscore name okay if you run the query see this is the azure cloud so this is the server i mean this is the database which we have created now without any late uh, let's create a tables guys okay uh, create table and table name is employee okay um, employee id okay i am using a small it and employee name i am taking in bear care okay just 25 okay and employee location i'm using n bear carrier 30 okay so i'm just uh, running this query so the table has been created successfully if you want to check uh, similarly in ssms how we do similarly select star from employee So these are the results yeah these are the three columns which you have created we need to insert the data into this one similarly we are using uh, insert into values so i am using a uh, i1 like john okay location block sorry okay. okay again i'm trying to this uh, copy and paste this line so that um, don't want to insert again and again sorry i'm just taking only five rows guys so that in order to get an idea so this employee need to and um, oops Sorry, employee ID two and three, four, five. Okay. So product. And let's take a name of a Mark Steve. Okay. okay i am just taking this location as normally guys like washington washington and you can in new york let's go and city is michigan and new york i'm taking this in new york okay now i'm trying to insert these tables into this database okay so this file are uh, I mean this five uh, rows has been inserted successfully if you want to see select star for employee this five rows will be there this is the normal process guys this is the same thing which we are doing in uh, sql server management studio now we are going to connect with this with power bi so that's the real process starts okay just i am opening the power bi so this is the power bi guys uh, and now going to trying with the uh, get data okay uh, more click on more So here now going to I am going to trying to connect with the uh, Azure SQL database. Click on Azure, and I am certainly here Azure SQL database. Okay. Now here server. That's what I said. Uh, here we again we need to go for Azure. So if you see here, uh, where we are. Uh, yes, yes. Overview. Okay. Let it be discarded. Nothing happens for me. Just copy the server name. Okay. Just put it here. That's it. 
here I'm using an import mode okay so database name is optional no need if we connect that uh, server it automatically ask the okay here no need to go no need to go for windows since we need to go for database only so again it is asking a username username which we created here right uh, that is a pba user okay just give the username pba user okay password i am giving my password okay just click on connect so now we are connecting with the microsoft power bi with microsoft uh, sql server azure that there you go this is the uh, database which you are created and uh, ignore these two things this is firewall rules you can ignore this is the table which we are created employee table if you see here those are the five records will be displayed there you go guys see from azure we are going to connect with power bi so now i'm going to load these tables into my power bi desktop so the simple process the same story where you are going to work with excel or sql server database local the same thing you are going to work with azure sql server database that's it if you want to check uh, uh, transform data or uh, data source settings uh, see uh, power bi azure server database this is one azure cloud so there you be connected to azure cloud with the uh, power bi desktop the similar thing is nothing but i am using this table uh, here uh, make sure this employee id is taking a summarization because it should not uh, summarize so i'm clicking on don't summarize okay so i'm selecting the same thing employee id uh, employee location employee name that's it guys if you see this here there you go so since uh, we are going to we are, we are now uh, using visualizations of course uh, i know that this is simple uh, table simple table we just added the for sample purpose because purpose but in real time uh, this will not the scenario i mean uh, you are going to work on uh, millions of rows and uh, uh, hundreds of database hundreds of uh, tables so that uh, there you are going to work with visualizations since it is a sample one so you can uh, ignore this one but in the real time uh, uh, you are going to work on this kind of things guys okay so with, from here i am going to end my video guys if you have any doubts kindly uh, comment in the comment section guys so i am very happy to help you so just make sure to practice the same things guys if you have any doubt uh, just uh, uh, comment in the comment section okay uh, just try to replicate the same with uh, azure sql server database why because in the real time you are going to work with uh, azure sql server or azure synapse analytics so make sure you sh should have an idea of these things also so thank you for watching video guys have a nice day.